五月二十日是二零二三年里平凡的一天，是 A A P I 传统月的其中一天，也是五月里天气最恶劣的一天。五月二十日，同时也是二零二三年里面最不平凡的一天，是麻州首次举办亚太节的一天，是今年麻州首次设立 A A P I 传统月的一天，更是亚太一社区携手共度佳节的一天。五月二十日，从波士顿马拉松的起点 Hopkinton， 沿着 Ashland、Framingham、Natick、Wellesley。Newton、Brookline， 一直到 Boston Common， 六个休息水站，一个主会场，上百位亚裔马拉松跑者，一百多名义工，二十多个表演团体和个人，七十多个参与组织，十多位出席政客，近千人到场观众，还有倾盆大雨，构成了二零二三亚太节的盛况。It's so important to show solidarity and to make sure that we're building community wherever we can. This is now a really important annual event in Boston, and I'm so excited that even with the rain coming down, so many families are here. I was just sharing that this is a, a space where everyone is welcome, and that the history of Boston Common, in particular, is one where important conversations about democracy and what it means to build a community that is truly inclusive. Started here in our country, so、um, I'm so glad that this space is home to so many different events and gatherings. And this one is a, a really exciting one as we see people come together and celebrating culture and heritage. It was a wonderful event. We celebrated the Asian American community throughout the Greater Boston. We also acknowledge that there's a lot of work we have to do, so it's about working together, making sure we treat the. All immigrants with respect, but treating the Asian American community with respect and dignity as well. Working together, Boston's a better city because of the contributions and sacrifices of the Asian American community. It was fantastic this morning.、Um, uh, several running groups from the AAPI community、um, joined together right at the Boston Marathon starting line,、um, and there was a relay. Uh, four or five stages all along, and to see them、um, not racing, but just coming together and creating a an additional awareness about the importance of this month,、um, and and to use the Boston Marathon and the、uh, marathon course and all the symbolism involved in what it takes to be a a marathoner,、um, keep showing up as one of our great champions says.、Uh, Is and and to be invited to be a part of、um, the event really is just a, a heartwarming、um, experience for me.、Um, you know, it was great to be here today. Even though the rain is pouring down, the attendance was amazing, and it's really touching to see so many people come out for AAPI Heritage Month.、Um, and it really encourages me to do more work for our community in terms of all the work that we're doing on language access and、um, data fairness. And so.、Um, It's really touching, and I'm really excited to be here today. This is great. This is wonderful. I was so happy to be invited back、uh, to this important, important event that they put together here by the、uh, New England Chinese American Alliance and by also the Care、uh, Coalition, which is it's important, right, to have justice and equity education for all, not just for the few. It's very important that we speak out and speak up, all right, when it comes to education for our youth. It's really important because they are the future of this country, and so we should be not we should not be denied, you know, a quality equity education just because you know of your background, right? Education should not be defined by your background or by your zip code, and、yeah. so everyone should receive the same quality education, so it's like everyone here in the United States. I think this event is incredible. I think, given the fact that it's raining and it's not the best weather conditions, but you see the excitement, you see the types of folks that are coming out, and it's not just the Asian American community, but you see other members of the Greater Boston community that are coming out to show support. And so, I think it's building on this momentum. I think the more and more the community of Boston is really understanding the importance of the Asian American Pacific Islander community to the Greater Boston area. Uh, but also, I'm really proud of the fact that we're starting to get the recognition that we deserve. I think it's important that we get to a point where we no longer have to demand people to pay attention and 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 carry our issues as important, but they do it naturally. They do it are they're proactive about paying attention to the needs that we have. Even still, there are so many. You know, if you go to Chinatown, there are too many people that are suffering, too many people that are without resources, too many people that don't feel like they have access to the same opportunities that every other Bostonian has.、Uh, 
Uh, you go to the Fields Corner and Little Saigon with the Vietnamese community, that there's a lot of issues that, um, in which that they need more assistance, they need more support. And so while I'm grateful for where we are, or how far we've come, I'm not going to stand by and, and say that that's enough. Uh, I, I, and as someone who's you know, part of this ecosystem, I, I need to continue to do my part and I'm excited and grateful and honored to do it with everyone here. Oh, I'm so excited to be here. I think uh, it's such a celebration of the Asian community and this is a really special month. So I'm really happy to see so many people come out even in the rain um, and to, to be here and to look at just the diversity and the amazing uh, talent in our community um, and to be part of the fabric of, of the city. Hello, my name is Avdan Pollock Roy. I'm a Next Gen Leadership Fellow uh, for Care Equity. Care Equity is about anti-racism, equity and inclusion. It's about, um, as a Next Gen Leadership Fellow, I'm doing internships with, gov with senators and governors to um, pass bills that will help with um, dealing with ra racism. We have a, a uh, bill we're trying to uh, pass right now to deal with, uh, with uh, we're advocating for to deal with um, having more inclusivity in terms of educate uh, inclusivity in terms of representing different cultures within the school system. At the moment, we feel school systems often misrepresent non-Western, non-white cultures, and that's something we hope this bill can fix. Yeah, I am so energized and inspired by what we're seeing today. The thing that really stands out to me is how multi-generational this gathering is, from some of the young performers to folks all across different generations. What we're seeing is just so much power and strength in coming together as a community, learning from one another, and realizing that there is so much strength in what we can do together. So I am just so inspired to be here, and I think that feeling of energy is so palpable, and this feeling that you know, for so long API folks have been often silenced, and this is our moment to really step into our power and our voice and to stand up together to demand um, that the API community is really seen and visible and treasured. So I'm so glad to be here today. 大家好,我是桂夏志,这次特别开心又参加我们这次 那么我们已经得到了社会各界的支持,包括市长 OK 好大家好我叫王华我是这个新英格兰华人联盟的共同主席然后今天非常非常高兴在这里作为主办方欢迎我们其他两个合办方 一个是CARE Coalition for Anti-Racism and Equity 还有一个就是Asian Community Fund of the Boston Foundation 然后我们一起跟其他五六十个组织一起欢迎大家到今天在这里举办了两项活动第一个是今天早晨沿着Boston这个马拉松沿线八阵的接力 然后另外一个呢，是我们现在在这个Boston市新公园Boston 所以在这里呢，今天这些组织还有各个方面的合办方呢，是不但仅仅是华裔。然后有亚裔引更多的其他的主意从这个意义上讲这是我们需要大家真正的团结在一起然后这个在这边这是美国是我们的家园然后也是我们孩子成长的地方也是我们在这里打拼的地方所以我们要在这里呢让这里成为更
，也是我们来自我们亚裔社区的选手，他们从呃马拉松的起点一直接力跑到了我们波士顿康门，啊，每次都会有超过一百多人来参加我们这个呃活动。然后另外这个波士顿康门的这个标志性的建筑的话呢，我们会举行这些文艺表演。呃，今年呃不但市长来了，我们的市议长也来了，还有很多的这个我们州的省级长。包括很多议员都来了，而且最重要的是，今年在在奈卡以及其他组织的联合提倡之下，我们把这个五月也定为了麻州的 AAPI 月。那其实这个非常重要的。所以呢，我们州的这个省级长今天也代表州长正式宣读了这个啊、呃、这个宣言。啊，把它正正式这个定为节日这个证书当场宣读了，其实对我们整个这个亚裔社区是很鼓舞的。啊，这个也是我们呃奈卡的招牌的活动，我们以后每年五月都会把它给办下去，变成一个我们亚太人自己的节日——亚太节。也欢迎大家持续的支持我们，参与我们，呃，服务我们社会，把我们的声音，把我们的能量。把我们的这个呃融合，全部都可以贡献到我们这个社区，谢谢大家。